Oh, hey. I'm sorry, were you waiting on this machine? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Uh, just let me, um... <clears throat> let me wipe it off for you. You're new here, huh? Getting a head start on that New Year's resolution, are you? <laughs> it's a good idea. In no time like the present, right? I say whenever you're feeling it, that's the time to start. And when you're not feeling it, that's the time to keep going. I'm sorry. Do you mind if, if I just help you a little sec before you get started? Look, I'm, I'm really tall, right? Uh, I had to put the back of the seat back uh, really far for my legs. But you don't have the same leg length. So here, let's move this back a little bit forward for you. <laughs> no, well, you know, I am tall and I also have very long legs proportionally. So you're not going to need the same seat depth that I do. Uh, you want it to be just at the backs of your knees. It should be comfortable. And also, you're going to want to move this to just above your ankles without having to point your toes. Okay, there you go. Oh, oof. Uh, I, I will adjust the weight for you. You just do it right here by moving the pins. <laughs> what? No, of course not. I just think that you're new to the gym. Nobody knows everything the first time they come in. I certainly didn't. I mean, for that matter, there's no guarantee I'm going to know how to use a new machine if they bring it in. I like your shirt, by the way. <laughs> is that... Is that Gallifreyan? <laughs> I knew it. Love Doctor Who. Well, I say I love Doctor Who, but I think I'm going to have to revoke my Whovian card because I have yet to see the 60th anniversary special. I know I'm... Not proud of myself. <laughs> oh, well. Working, Christmas coming up. Just very busy. And also, uh, <laughs> the TVs here in the gym do not get Disney+. Plus. Honestly, if they did, half of us wouldn't get any work done. <laughs> We'd just be staring at the screens. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's all kinds of geeks and nerds in this place. Check it out. Michael over there with the tattoos and the really defined back. You don't even want to know how many badges he's got on his Steam account. I don't know where he finds the time. And uh, Caitlin over there? <laughs> She's training right now. She is a keeper on her Quidditch team. They play in the park. They run around with broomsticks between their legs, basically playing dodgeball back and forth across the field. It looks like fun. She's also super into Star Wars, so she does Yoda yoga and Jedi lightsaber fencing. Yeah, well. It's like Michael's Steam profile says. We don't all look like nerds. <laughs> oh, I mean, not that looking like a nerd is a bad thing. Or not, not that you look like a nerd. It just... Wow, I am putting my foot in it. Sorry. Wait, wait, what's that look? I, uh, I hit a nerve. I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, literally, it's not a bad... Uh, Oh. Oh, you're here because your girlfriend told you you look like an... 
ex-girlfriend? The day before Christmas, oh my god, that's gotta suck. I am so sorry to hear it. Did she actually say that it's because of how you look? I, I mean, I don't mean to sound skeptical or question your version of things, but... I mean... You, you look good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. We all get like that when we break up. Question why we weren't good enough. Why we weren't attractive enough. And, you know, it's... It's really never that. We were attractive enough for that person to date to begin with. And seriously, you look great. I mean, you know, far be it from me to try to talk somebody down from getting fitter and healthier, but if that's your only motivation is because you want to glow up so that you can get the next girl, I promise you you're worthy and good-looking enough just as you are. Well, of course I mean it. Why do you think I'm still standing here by the leg machine talking to you after all this time? I could have walked away from here five minutes ago, right? <laughs> well, yes and no. I am saying it to be flirty, but also not. Because you are fresh out of a relationship, and uh, that's never the best time to try to get some of these digits. But, you know what? If I see you here again, and then again, and then again, I am sure we will get to know each other better. And I imagine that we have enough shared interests that we will have plenty to talk about in between sets. And if for some reason our schedules do not align and we do not run into each other here, on a regular basis to get to know each other, then you will do fine. You will find someone whose energy matches yours. How do I know? Well, uh, I suppose I don't know for sure, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. You're attractive, you're articulate, you have good interests, and um, when faced with a challenge, your instinct is to try to improve yourself in some way. That is a really respectable trait. So, you'll be fine. I promise you that. Well, actually, one last little tip. You'll be fine if you don't try to read while you're on the spin bike. Um, I noticed you earlier. It's tempting, I get it. That bike is boring as sin, I fully relate. But um, you are on the bike to get your cardio in. And when you read, you naturally slow down. Maybe put some earbuds in that have some really upbeat music. Your legs will naturally want to keep beat with the rhythm. <laughs> it's all good. I have been there. I promise. I love the strength training, hate the cardio. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we all have some kind of exercise we hate doing. Even the gym rats. <laughs> and um, on that note, I'm going to get back to my workout. Oh, hey, you know, I speak to Caitlin. Uh, they just lost a beater on their team. If you talk to her, maybe you can get the position. It's good cardio, running back and forth. And more fun than the spin bike. No problem. Now get to work, you. Oh, hold those handlebars by the side.
<laughs> it distributes the strain more evenly through your thighs. You are very nice thighs. <laughs> oh yeah, that was definitely a flirty that time. Full on, no holding back, flirty. I will catch you later. Oh, and welcome to the gym. Hey, you cupcakes. Um, you know, this is kind of a little slice of life recording that came from two things. One, I know that the guys in my server and also a lot of the people listening really like <laughs> those tall, strong women. And I, as a tall, strong woman, uh, mm, yeah, tall, with weak little lady arms, but uh, otherwise strong. Uh, I um, I appreciate that. Uh, I thought I wanted to do something like that for you guys. Give you what you love. But also, uh, because of the whole restricted, the limited ads thing that uh, that has been affecting my channel for the past month and a half, two months, I got a video coach to help me sort of plan and market my videos. And one of the questions they asked was, who is your audience? If, if you were to pick one person and speak to them, what would that person be like? And um, as I was describing my person, I... I I realized how much I like that person and how much that person is so many of you. Someone a little geeky, a lot geeky. Someone kind of romantic. Someone who is just trying to relax for a little while and, and somebody who can relate to those little tingles you get when someone is speaking softly in your voice, or when you hear those soft sounds, we don't all react to the same sounds, but a lot of us do. And even if, even if we don't, that, that, that soft voice speaking to us is just so relaxing, intimate, comfortable. We get this vicarious experience of having an intimate moment with someone. We all want those intimate moments, more of those intimate moments. That vicarious experience of having our insecurities reassured, or that vicarious experience of falling in love, meeting the person that gets us, meeting the person that we like, meeting the person who likes us. Uh, what I'm saying is all of those things are things I like, and all of those things are things that I like about you guys. So, thank you for regularly going on these little trips with me and being just the kind of people that I would like to go on them with. I am so fortunate to be part of a community that just fits, you know? Anyway, that's where that audio came from, giving you guys the muscle-bound Amazon woman of your dreams, and also just remembering how great you guys are, just as you are. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Sir in Order. Thank you for the sewing supplies from Lame Hero. I always appreciate sewing supplies. And also, thank you for joining us, and welcome to Estimate and Fury Bader 1234. I am going to look forward to meeting you guys in the server. And now for something completely different, or at least names that are completely different. <sighs> Gang is now known as, and the Mome Wraths Outgrade Beware the Jabberwock. 
Abel has changed his name too. I've never seen a life transformation that didn't begin with the person in question finally getting tired of their own bullshit. Wise words there. And let's see, we have Quasi Crafter, who is now Ralph. There's something on the rooftop. The reflection in the window looks like it might be our weapon. Duke is now... Duke is realizing that somewhere between letting go and holding on, he found the courage to love again. I'm so glad, Duke. That was such a ride. <laughs> Forces is now known as... I swear, if Pierce gets me boy preggers again. Art is now... Oh, tenemos nuevos interactores en El Salvador. Es hora de nombrar sus traseros. Art is making sure that I never forget the Spanish word tres, traseros. Traseros? Am I pronouncing it? Butts. He's, he's, he's trying to make sure that I never forget the word butts. <laughs> Oh, Christian Kaleopa'a is now your eyes are like moonbeams, your hair like a vibrant willow, your voice like a chorus of birds, and yet looking around at the you. Okay, Chris, you're going to have to fill me in on what the rest of that is. And Mary Starkwolf is, is now back to just being Hunter Darkwolf. I mean, not just Hunter Darkwolf, because he's never just Hunter Darkwolf, but, you know, that is his name change. It's, it's, he's, he's back to being his actual name. Feels kind of weird. And finally, inline flaws. Who I was is history. Who I will be is a mystery. But for you, my darling, I am everything. Flaws. Oh, my goodness. My hero. I adore you. I really do. You are so wonderful. And as always, I would like to say hello and thank you to all of the bakers and pound cakes that I haven't mentioned yet. There's Mr. Rickles and Anand. There is Sonant Sand Goose, Old Bean UK, The Seventh of the Sun. There's Pierce Talish and Bellamy. And of course, Tomberry Shuffle. Thank you so much, guys. You are all so wonderful. And on that note, I hope you all take care and be as good to yourselves as you are to me because you are very good to me. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.